What is going on you guys? The Keith Carnes and it is time for the 30th episode of Is It Real? Now, for the 30th episode, I want to do, so, do something kind of special. And when I was researching future episodes, including the one you're watching now, which thank you for viewing, as always, um, I came across something that I'm ashamed to admit that I never thought of doing until now, of course. Um, and that's the Nostradamus, I hope I'm saying that right, it's kind of hard to say his name, um, effect. As you see, that is the title of this episode. So as the 30th episode is here and we reach the milestone of 30, kind of like WrestleMania 30 recently, um, we are going to talk about one of my most favorite topics and that's how Nostradamus supposedly predicted the future and amazingly was pretty close to, uh, to what he predicted, you know. Um, so for example, it was said that he predicted the French Revolution, uh, Napoleon, uh, Adolf Hitler, uh, both world wars, and the nuclear destruction of Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Um, I'm reading from a computer if you're wondering. Uh, Ap the Apollo moon landings, the death of Deanna, Diana, Princess of Wales in 1997, who died in a car wreck if you live under a rock and you don't know that. Space, space shuttle Challenger disaster 1986. Wow, do you hear that backfire? Maybe. I live near a freeway. To the events of, and also the events of September 11, 2001. So, as you can kind of see from that, Nostradamus predicted many, many things that ended up obviously being true. Now, I, I know that his prediction of, of Hitler, who we all know from World War II and the, the atrocities that he was responsible for um, and allowing to have committed, being committed, um, he predicted stuff to where it matched up later, but you know, things were different. For example, like with Hitler, instead of a T, it was an S, so it was Hisler. But it was close enough to where they're like, hey, I don't think that's a coincidence, you know, in the, in the prophecy from Nostradamus. God, I'm probably saying that wrong, and I sound like a fucking moron, so sorry if I am. Um, I'm sure somebody will correct me as usual. Um, but he predicted that someone would rise with like a false, like a false promise, basically. I, you know, I'm not saying word for word, you know, so don't quote me as saying, oh, well, you know, that's that's not what he said, but you know what I mean. It's just, for example, in a way. But basically what he said was somebody would be like a leader for the German people, but would be like a false, um, basically a false prophet. And that's pretty much what Hitler was. Everybody believed that Hitler was gonna make everything better, they believed that Hitler was actually good. They believed that Hitler was was a man that was going to take Germany in the right direction, which obviously he did the exact opposite. Um, and he turned out to be a false hope, you know. Uh, so it was really, really amazing that all the years, centuries before World War II, um, that... He was able to predict something like that that would happen way after his time because um, now I don't want to be wrong on this because I should at least have his death date right so he died come on scroll up you bastard he died on July 2nd 1566 at the age of 62 so that just shows you how long between 1566 to 1940 well, actually, I think Hitler rose to power, what, 1939, I think? I'm not, maybe 38? So that just shows you from, you know, 1566 to maybe 38, 39, that's an amazing gap. Or what about the gap from September 11th, 2001? When he predicted, um, you know, the, the World Trade Center attacks. I mean, 1566 to 2001? I mean, it's it's just... Like, you know, me personally, like people say, oh, you know, there's such thing as sidekicks and stuff. And I personally don't believe in sidekicks because none of them have ever shown proof. But if they had proof like this, 
where they predicted something maybe a year, maybe a few years before it happened, and then they could prove without a doubt they were sidekick. Okay, I would believe it because it, there would be no doubt, you know. But you don't get stuff like this today, you know. You get people that go missing all the time, and it's amazing how no sidekick can ever find where they are. So basically, the question that we have to look at now that we've kind of gone over the topic at hand, was this really a man who could see the future? And people want to know who watched this, sh this little web series, Dill I Do. It's now time for me, basically what I'm trying to say is I'm just horribly getting to the point. Um, what do I think? Do I think it was legit? Do I think it was bullshit? Um, I'm left with just simply saying, yeah, I think it was legit. I don't really see where any real doubt can come into play. Now, I don't know everything about Nastrodomus. I can't go into detail on everything, so maybe there were certain things that kind of doubted him in some ways, but when you got a guy that said, you know, basically predicting Hitler, then the 9-11 attacks, the death of Princess Diana in 1997, when you have a guy that's predicting stuff that's going to happen centuries after he's dead, um, I would definitely think that he would definitely, without a shadow of a doubt, be able to see into the future without being able to be a fake. So, do I believe this whole thing? Absolutely, I do. Um, because it was so long ago, and that was before all the forgeries. Really, I mean, forgery's been around since the beginning of time. But when you have a guy that's, you know, wrote about his predictions and all of them have come true, yeah. Now, I think that there was something... Um, I don't know if he actually predicted or not, so he might not have. Um, I don't think he predicted that the world was going to end on December 21st, 2012, 2012, like a lot of people believed. Uh, I'm pretty sure he didn't, but he may have, and if so, then that's the only thing he's been wrong on that I know of. But, like I said, he probably, I'm pretty sure he didn't. Uh, I'm pretty sure he never made a prediction for that date. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. I do believe it. I do think it was real. Obviously, just because there's proof, you can't really deny, you know, proof when it's there. And I think this man had an ext an extraordinary gift for whatever reason by whoever's in charge in the afterlife, if you believe in an afterlife like I do. Um, for some reason, he was given the gift to, to predict. Unfortunately, none of the events could be avoided, but it's kind of cool to look at it in a way, you know, to be able to say, wow, a guy in the 1500s, predicted 9-11, Hitler, Napoleon, uh, Princess Diana, you know, blah, 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 blah. So anyway, you guys, that's going to do it for the 30th episode of Is It Real? Of course, this series will be continuing past 30 episodes when the next one will be up. Probably not for a little while. I do already have, I think, up to episode 35 listed on a list. So there's at least going to be five more episodes after this one. Um... So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you, whoever you are, for viewing. If you like what you see and you want to support me, just go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe. Subscribing helps the most, and liking the video is always just nice to have. Um, and that's about it. So give me your, your opinions if you want. You can chime in on this, which I'm sure people will. People usually like to chime in on this series. And that's going to be about it for me. So this is Z Keith Carnes. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.